Whoa, oh my gosh. Welcome to MDLR Fishing, everyone. Today we are on the Upper Texas Gulf Coast on Galveston Island. Gonna do some urban fishing by way of the dock pilings. The primary species that we're going after are gonna be sheep's head, black drum, and if we can catch a croaker, then that's what we're after. Hopefully, we're gonna be able to catch us a nice lunch or dinner. Let's see what happens. I've got some fresh cut mullet, and then we also have a fresh frozen like crab. I'm gonna save the bigger pieces for later on. Hopefully the mullet and like the crab legs are gonna work out here along these pilings. Six feet of water. They just keep nibbling it, that's it. It's, I'm thinking it's probably pinfish because there goes another two bites right there. Yeah, I, I think that's the bait thieves. We'll give them a chance just to see if uh, they're gonna take it whole. And if not, we'll uh, get out of this area, leave these pilings and we'll go chase down another set. And hopefully there's gonna be something big there. Got you. Yes. <laughs> the fake shrimp. I got a loose hook back there. I gotta watch out. Come here, Mr. Black Drum. I've been chasing these guys. Wait. Oh, that's a sheep's head, y'all. It's not no black drum. Alright, keeper sheep's head. Still the target species. This guy is gonna be very tasty. Buddy, I'm gonna thank you. Look at all them teeth. He's your dentist. Look at that right there. Oh, that is a gorgeous sheep's head. There we go. I'm boy, I tell you what, I feel accomplished. I am most certainly accomplished today. Who man. We're gonna load some more crab meat. I think that's what sealed the deal for us is the crab meat. At least that's what I'm gonna say. I'll try to pull some more out. Please stay on. There we are. There we are. Yes, baby. <laughs> he realizes he's hooked now. There we go. Two. Now that is a dinner. Oh yeah, 17 inches. He's bigger than the other one. That's a good one. That is a good one. That is a really good one. Oh yes, that is a nice one right there. There we are, <laughs> yes. Shrimp and crab. Oh my goodness, it is working. 
This guy is a 16 and 3 quarter. There we go. Got you. <laughs> Buddy, you're getting the whole camera system wet. It was floating, Christian. I cut such a small piece and it floated down so, I just, yeah, I just cast it at him. It didn't make no noise. It just sunk down, but super slow and he went after it. And with that right there, y'all, that is a limit. <laughs> it took a while to figure them out, but uh, we're that much better now. Whenever we come out again and want to go at these guys, a small little slither of fish bites got this last one and then just the crab meat spiked on the uh, shrimp that got all the other guys i still maintain a small little shrimp on a tiny little float would probably work best dangle that thing maybe 12 inches underneath the float and just cast it i mean don't even cast it because if you do that it spooks those guys i mean we've been spooking them left and right and uh, it's not until you sneak up on them so i mean we're just slowly laying it down I mean, y'all saw the method i am grateful that we got that limit though <laughs> there he is right here right underneath me there he is right here he's literally right underneath me he's right under your bow holy moly <laughs> here he is Oh, he's right under your bow again. Here he comes to me. He's back over towards you. This guy's a big fella. He's right under my bow. He's going over towards you. He's right at your rudder. Your phone died? Oh my gosh. Dude got crazy right there. He went like sideways on me. Now he's really getting crazy. 
I don't know if he's amped up or not. These are actually some big fillets right there, man. Good Lord, that is a big mamas. I caught the big mama girl. Look at that. Two juicy fillets from a sheep's head. We are gonna enjoy our lunch, y'all. So what we've got going on is just a simple, like po' boy inspired sheep's head that's lightly sauteed, pan seared, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna salt and pepper each side of it. We also made our own Southwest uh, Chipotle sauce, and uh, chances are you've already got the ingredients to put that together in your kitchen. Very generic, and it's super easy to whip up. We've got fresh sliced cabbage that y'all just saw a minute ago, and then some Hawaiian sweet roll sub rolls. And that's pretty much it. Throw it together with some of your chips. So let's get these guys salted up, seared, and then we're gonna enjoy this meal. Let's turn our attention over towards the stove. We've already got about a tablespoon of olive oil inside our pan. It is hot, ready to go. Yeah, that thing is hot. Our butter. Every fish needs butter. They're like peas in a pod right there. Two things that really go together. So we'll get that going around. The olive oil is just to make sure that it doesn't burn and then we gotta get that little paper out of there. Little fiber don't hurt nobody. Let's get this out anyways, because we don't want to eat that. And this is going to sear our fish like really quick. There we are. Approximately one minute, maybe a minute and a half on each side. Sorry, son. We got two chefs in the kitchen right now. Christian's actually got a cook going on as well, doing a similar sandwich with sheep's head as well. If you're not familiar with this channel, go on over to it. I'm gonna link it in my description down below. We're trying to get him to 10,000 subscribers. And uh, hopefully, if you find our content enjoyable, you can go over to his and get a different perspective of the Texas Gulf Coast. And uh, this guy is ready to flip. So lightly seared on the first side. Smells so good. We've had sheep's head only one other time and I was very surprised by the texture and the taste of it. These guys uh, have a diet that mainly consists of crustaceans like the crabs, uh, shell, barnacles, oyster, all things of that nature. Shrimp, crabs, and what I just discussed uh, which is why their meat is so succulent and a lot of people really love going after them. It's just really hard to fillet those guys. I haven't perfected my method, but I'll get there. Let's get this butter moved around, make sure we're letting it kiss that sheep's head. There we are. And uh, let's get our dish ready to go. And here we go. There we are. There really is no like big end or little end. It's all the same thickness throughout. All right, that should be about enough right there. We'll cut the heat. We'll split this in half. I'm gonna take the piece that's got like the majority of the bloodline, okay? So you ain't gotta deal with that. No, I'm gonna go ahead and take that too for me. Here we are. Look at that, y'all. That looks really good. We could have actually made three with this piece right here. You see? That looks really good. Elijah, do you want a sandwich? Oh my gosh, that tastes so good. It's just salt and pepper too.
take some cabbage, lay that right across our filet, and then we're gonna throw a little bit of our homemade chipotle sauce, which is really good. that right there is the fastest that you can legitimately make a fish dish from your catch on the water you bring it home prep it and turn it into something like this it's got a nice spice from the chipotle but it definitely works all together the only problem is, is there's like not enough to like get full off of that's probably a good thing especially if you're trying to watch your weight Thanks so much for watching everyone. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. The love and support that you have shown the channel is what allows us to be able to do this right here. And I'm very grateful. I'm also on Patreon. So if behind the scenes content is something that you're interested in, then you can check us out over there. We post photos and things that I don't normally do on Instagram and Facebook. So uh, check that out. If you're gonna make a visit to the Upper Texas Gulf Coast and you want to learn how to fish the Texas Marsh system, then possibly check that out. It'll help to speed your learning curve if you have no idea what, of what you're doing. And uh, that'll get you a long way on being able to provide your family with a beautiful meal such as this. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.